All right, so you hatched out some quail, you've got them in the brooder box under heat lamps, and you're wondering, when can I take those heat lamps off of them? When can I move them out into regular cages? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. We'll get that all cleared up for you, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris, and today we're going to talk about baby quail. When they first come out of that egg into the brooder box, you got the heat lamps on them. When can you move that heat lamp off of them, and when can you actually move them out into a regular cage? It's really pretty simple. Once they're fully feathered out, they really don't need the supplemental heat anymore, and at that point, you can pretty much just move them out into regular cages. And that really happens at about two weeks old. When they're about two weeks old, they should be, for the most part, fully feathered out, and they can go from the brooder box into a regular cage. Now, there are a couple of caveats to that. Um, in the summertime, when the weather's nice and it's not getting down below freezing at night, I just move them right from the brooder box right into an outdoor hutch and they do just fine, no problems whatsoever. Uh, in the winter time though, when the weather's getting down below freezing at night, I, I stair step them a little bit. I move them from the brooder box into a cage, a wire bottom cage indoors, which I'll take you and show you here in just a minute and leave them in there for about another week, week and a half or so, and then I'll move them outside to the outdoor hutches. Let them just get a little bit bigger, a little bit more acclimated. My garage itself is not heated, but it gets down to about 60 degrees, probably a little bit lower, um, and it really doesn't get any much cooler than that. So that's a good way to acclimate them to the, the colder temperatures. And then, you know, after about four weeks at least, they're fully feathered out, they're heavy enough, you can just move them right out to the outdoor hutches, even in the middle of winter time, and they're gonna do just just fine. So let's take you inside. I'll show you the cage setup I've got in the garage and uh, the two week old babies that I just moved into that cage system. All right, so this is the garage here. What I've got is a stacking cage. Uh, these are my stacking cages, which I've done other videos on before. Um, it's just a PVC rack with these cages in it, and I'm not going to show that too much here. I'll put a link um, up there where you can go check out how I made these cages if you want to. But really, what I want to show off these quail right here are about two weeks old and they're fully feathered out. Uh, you can see, I mean, there's still a little bit of yellow here where they haven't quite got all their face feathers in, but for the most part, they're feathered out. They're ready to go into cages. So they moved out of the brooder, they moved into this cage system today, and they're a little huddled together because it is a little bit cool out today, uh, but they'll acclimate to this pretty quick and have no problems with that. All right, so you can see that they're, they're pretty hardy little birds, and I, I like to get them out of that brooder box as soon as I can because, you know, the brooder box itself, I've got a plastic tub set up for it, and it just gets, you know, all kinds of gunked up in there in no time whatsoever, and I have to clean it out just about every day. Move them into those wire cages, all the droppings fall right through. It stays much, much cleaner, much, much healthier for the birds. Um, I've talked about wire cages before and why I like them, and I'm not going to go into that all in this video, but you get the basic idea to that. If you're doing something different, though, and if you've got some tips and techniques that work out well for you, leave them in the comments below and let me know. Um, other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching. Pretty short video this week because it's a pretty simple topic, but as always, God bless.